Hi everyone, so it's finally the over, I've done my standards check and um, the result was I got a grade B. Now I have to say that I don't really understand what the examiner was talking about when he said you know, the reasons I got a B. Because I've got lots of high scores, I've got three in lots of different boxes. Um, but he said that what the people was doing was he was going ahead in the wrong lane on a roundabout. And he wasn't. But it's like this, imagine this is a lane on a roundabout now. We're in the lane, middle lane like this, going ahead. The left lane only turns left. And he said that the lanes were wrong. I'm just absolutely baffled as to what he's talking about. He said that the people had half the car in the right hand lane when he went round. He didn't. I just don't, I don't know why he was on about. That he was on this line now on the road, perfectly positioned in the middle of the lane, nothing wrong. And he said the people was in the right lane. And he wasn't. So, <laughs> I just don't know what he's talking about. I don't get it at all. And he was saying that the reason he was doing it was because there were loads of cars on the left. There were no cars on the left. There wasn't a single car. <laughs> I'm just completely baffled. There wasn't a single car on the left and he said he was swerving to avoid parked cars. And there weren't any cars there. So I have to say I'm a little bit kind of, I don't really care about the result. Like I said, A or B, it doesn't matter. But I just do not understand what he's talking about. It's almost like he's making it up. I just don't get it at all. I'm completely baffled as to what's happened there. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to let you know that. I'm just going to pull over here so I can uh, just check my phone because I've turned my phone off for that. Yeah, so that's the end of the series of videos. That's what it's like to go through a standards check. So, you know, I'm glad that I passed. I got a good score. I can't remember now. What was it off the top of my head? Um, 36 I got, which is, you know, pretty good. But he says the only place I got marked down was on risk management because I let the... Um, I let the people stray the lanes, but I didn't. So I'm absolutely baffled by this. I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, just don't know what to say. It's like, you know, when you've been arrested for something and you haven't done it, and you just think, what, what, you know, I haven't done it. I don't get what he was talking about. I don't know what he means. But there you go. That's what it's like to do a standards check. So it's not going to start me. I'll still be doing my standards check training. Now I've actually done one, I can actually you know, say I've done a standards check. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to try and work that one out and find out what happened there. So I hope you've enjoyed this series of videos. I hope it's been helpful for you. And um, you never seem to know what you're going to get with a standards check. So uh, there you go. You, you never know what's going to happen. What's annoying is that I only did that roundabout because um, I didn't understand that was telling us to go another way. And I thought I'd put a stand nav on to make it interesting. And the stand nav said go the easy way. And I said no, we'll go the slightly harder way because of visibility. And um and then he's saying I got the roundabout wrong, which I clearly didn't. So anyway, a bit of a baffling one that, but, you know, grade B for baffled, I suppose it has to be. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, you can still keep teaching. I've just found my insurance company and I said it doesn't make any difference to the price of insurance. So you have to ask the question, does it really make any difference? But apart from personal pride, does it really matter? Um, not really, I mean, I thought it made quite a difference, but apparently it doesn't. So, there you go. Um, I've completed my standards check. I'm just glad it's done. Glad it's out of the way. That's been a horrific experience to go through as well as moving house and all that. So thanks for watching the series and I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's helped you out and I'll see you soon for more videos.